hell? Okay. Look at that, bro. What the hell? Look at the whole film. Beautiful. Here I am, I'm in downtown. So right now, I'm currently in what I call the heart of downtown. I would say over here, more average people live. Now of course, you also have Brooklyn. Brooklyn is what we call the financial district, and that means money galore. But over here, over here is more for the average people, people that wanna live a decent, but more extravagant kind of lifestyle. So in today's video, I wanna explore downtown, show you guys around, show you guys how the city is really like. I wanna explore all of downtown, show you guys all the nooks and crannies, you know, show you the real side of Miami. You know, you see parties, lifestyle, yachts and mega yachts, but of course, if you do wanna move here, there are places for us normal folk. I would say living over here in downtown, this side of downtown, living over here, let me tell you one thing, you're definitely gonna get that real Miami experience. So number one, as you can see, of course, being in downtown, it's gonna come with those tall buildings that everybody loves, rightfully so, I mean, I get it. You know, living in downtown, definitely an experience that I think everybody should just at least try once in their life. Like this is absolutely just beautiful. So as I mentioned before, living over here is a bit less expensive than living in Brickell, but that doesn't mean it's not expensive as shit. Downtown is a pretty expensive place to live in. I think the average rent here is like 2,400 something. That's crazy. What do you get when you take a lot of people and congest them in a small area? You get homeless people. Over here, downtown, there is a serious homeless problem. There is a serious homeless problem. You can't turn one corner here in downtown without running into somebody that's fucking crazy. We do what we can here, you know? Somebody that's on drugs, somebody that's drunk, somebody that's high on drugs, somebody that's about to die. Bro, at all times, I get harassed on the street, especially when I got the camera in my hand. Bro, this is the exact shit I'm talking about. I literally just got stopped. Look, he's stopping that guy. Look at that. Bro, you constantly get harassed in downtown. What the fuck is this? That's the next thing. They don't leave you alone. Like, I feel like in every other city, when you tell a homeless person, like, relax and chill back, they actually take it. But here, bro, nah, bro. They're gonna fight you, harass you, try to take you for your last dollar. And one last thing about downtown, there's chickens. So as you can see in front of me, there's really just a family of chickens. You know, when you think of downtown, you think of more than New York, rough, grimy, hard living. Yo, what's up? Wait a minute, yo. I was just talking to tough streets, bro. They pulled up on me. Hey, take your kids, bro. I don't want our man. I don't want no problems. All right, let me get out of here because the chicks are ganging up on me. Let me show you guys the other side of downtown and show you guys how it contrasts with over here. Let's go before the chicks get on me. And, whoa, I just realized. Is this like the, the, the rooster dad? And he's really just been putting in all that work? Yo. Okay. Man, got like 20 kids. You're not even looking at the room, bro. Come on, don't be a deadbeat out here in downtown, bro. We gotta make us look good. Represent, man. You know how weird it is to actually just be looking at a whole chicken right now in the middle of downtown? <laughs> All right. Like, think about that. I'm in the middle of the city talking to chickens and roosters. What is life? And they're over there fighting. But what is life? Let me, let me, let's get to Brooklyn. Let's just go to Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn. Three words, money, money, and more money. You know, I would say downtown has more beautiful views when it comes to, you know, rooftops and like seeing over the city, but you know, Brooklyn has a beat when it comes to these river views. My mistake, ocean views. Right behind me, there's literally, I don't know which ocean this is. I don't know, is this the ocean? I don't know. So yesterday, I was out here getting B-roll for this video. And yesterday was 4th of July, so basically, everybody and their mom brought their yachts out just to, I don't know, enjoy the night. And it had me literally thinking like, yo, this is a different level of money. Like, what the fuck is this? There's an officer patrolling me right now. I don't know if I did something wrong. I'm about to see though. Kicking me out? I don't. I'm being kicked out, bro. That's an officer currently patrolling me right now. I think I'm being kicked out. I don't know. Can you see him? I don't know what he got on his mind, but I have a video to do, so I don't have time for that nonsense. Can't you imagine just living here? I mean, just look at the buildings behind me. I don't see how some of you guys can look at this and not want to be here. 
this has to be the most inspiring thing ever. Like, how do you see this, all this wealth, all this money, and not have it inspire you? I don't get it. You know, everyone says the American dream is, you know, live in a two-story house, six figures, wife, kids at home, but bro, my dream was always to just live in a beautiful city and travel the world. That's my American dream. I've always dreamed of traveling to different countries and just experiencing life. You know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, end up getting to old age and they don't ever experience a good life. And they live with a lot of regrets that, you know, I just don't want to live with. You know, I want to get to old age and I want to be able to go to my kids and tell them stories of, you know, my, of my childhood and my past and the things that I did. A lot, bro, it made me, shit, I'm bright as fuck. All right, there you go. You know, when I see people grind every day, you know, getting to it, it motivates the fuck out of me, bro. Like, well, back in my hometown, people were not getting up at 6 a.m. to go grind on a side hustle, you know? People were just playing video games, not really doing much, you know, complaining. And, you know, I get here and I see people, you know, live a lively life. They always, I don't, why, why do people do that? They always stop right in front of the camera. Like, they walked all the way here and then, oh, shit, I dropped my phone, oh my god. Right in front of the camera every single time. I hate when people do that. And they sit there for like five minutes. Look, just look at this. What the hell? Of course the dog pooped there. Come on, really? You know, it's not just the scenery here in Brickell. The lifestyle also is ridiculous. People call Brickell the Manhattan of Miami for good reason. You're able to walk around different restaurants. That's actually a whole integrated mall in the city. Brickell's definitely the closest you're gonna get to New York. But of course, downtown is not just the cities. They also have nice parts to go to if you wanna go, you know, sit and relax and just take your mind off the city. Cause I'm not gonna lie, city life, can get very exhausting. So of course you need some time to unwind and relax. So. so of course there are parks and I do have my favorite. And no, they're not ghetto like the LA parks. Welcome to Biscayne Park. I don't know if that's the actual name of it. I just call it Biscayne Park because it's a park and we're in Biscayne. So this is one of the bigger parks. You know, in downtown, it's very industrialized. There's not a lot of grass or trees. Coming to the park and seeing grass, you know, it's a very nice change from, you know, city life and just buildings everywhere. My first impressions, yo, this park is fucking huge. There's a whole walkway over there where you can just exercise and just walk around. Yo, what the? Look at that, bro. Wow. What the fuck? Yo. The park comes with wildlife too. Holy shit. Miami's very busy, you know, chaotic, and you don't really have a lot of time to yourself, but coming to the park, bro, that's no car alarm. There's literally birds right here. Like, bro, what the? It's birds and iguanas in the trees. You know, of course, it is nice to come out here and just sit and be able to relax, listen to music, come up with video ideas. It is nice to get away from the city. Well, at least attempt to get away from the city. You know, sometimes it makes me want to go back to my roots and go back to where it all started because I feel like, you know, Miami's definitely changed me to a different person. I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, I don't think I'm, I don't think I turn into a worse person and I've grown more into the person I'm supposed to be in the future. But I do look back and think about how innocent I was, you know, back when I didn't drink, I didn't smoke. I thought it was disgusting. You know, I thought I would never do these things. And you know, now I live in a big city. I don't drink often. I think the last time I drank was months ago, but you know, I do smoke from time to time. And I thought I'd never be that kind of person, but time does have a way of making you show your true colors. Maybe this is who I've always been, but you know, I don't really know. Speaking of my roots and into who I am as a person, let's go back to where it all began. Speaking of my roots, this is the first place I came to when I first went homeless. That bench right over there is the first bench me and Jerry sat on. We thought to ourselves, why are we sitting here? No, I don't deserve this, it's not fair. But it is really crazy to see how far I came. I remember, I used to look at this and just be so angry, so mad that I wasn't here, living life, enjoying life. And now I have my own 45th floor apartment. Obviously it's not luxury like this, you know, I'm still trying to make the come up, but you know, in all reality, it's only been a year and a half since I've moved here. And to see how far I've already came, crazy to see it, bro, it's really crazy. There's literally a mega yacht coming my way. Look at that. That's not, okay, that's not a mega yacht. Compared to Miami, that's like a small baby yacht. But I mean, look at that shit, bro. That's still huge. Like, that's still a fucking yacht. I've manifested every single thing in my life. Oh, even the water agrees with me. You know, downtown is one thing, you know top floor, 40, 45th floor, you know, apartment. But Brickell, man, when you get to Brickell, that's when you've made it. At one point in my life, you know, I sat in the parking lot looking at downtown, dreaming of making it there. And now that I'm in downtown, I come here and I visualize me being here one day. If I'm gonna keep it a bean, I'm not gonna lie. People in downtown suck. You know, if you're not rich, people just 
for some reason look down on you like you're just not worth anything. Customers literally treat you like you're less than human. It's ridiculous. Like, if your entire life doesn't revolve around helping them, bro, they're gonna treat you like you're garbage. You know, Brickle's, of course, a little bit more pretentious. You know, of course, as I'm sitting here, there's literally just people on, girls, girls on boats just enjoying their life. I made a video prior talking about, you know, dating here in Miami. Like, all those girls are probably around 18 to like 23, living extraordinarily like that's ridiculous and that's why you know i don't blame you like if I, if I was a girl here bro i'm on a yacht too living my best life women here really think that the average person makes like two hundred thousand a year and i'm not i'm not being facetious i mean that honestly i know you guys see the funny clips you know of girls saying ridiculous things but living in real life that shit is true they literally be saying that nonsense i need my guy to make a million dollars a year and he has to be loyal and he has to be this and that and that and that and, that, and have a lamp like it's like what you know if you're a normal person you just want to come to miami and just relax you can do stuff like this. You know, nobody's bothering me. That's another thing. I feel like a lot of people are bothered by me just because of how unbothered I am. I don't really let much get to me. A lot of people ask me, yo, Ty, how are you, how are you always just so calm in every situation? And that's because I just don't let nothing bother me. Like, yo, the only thing I care about, honestly, is, you know, me, the people around me that I love, and you guys, you know? Other than those three things, I don't think anything else can really push me to a point where it's gonna emotionally affect me. Like, I'm good, you know? I'm happy just being alone here and just relaxing. It's a very stimulating city. Me just walking around, I just feel happy and positive. Like, let's go get some money. Let's go get to it. Brooklyn's where you're gonna find all your celebrities, the athletes, and it's so crazy to see the people that you see on TV in real life. And it really took away the allure of celebrities to me. You know, I never really looked up to the celebrities, but it was a very eye-opening experience. It made me realize that, you know, all those people that influenced me as a kid are just regular people just like me. You know, they're nobody special. Even though they have a yacht, you know, and a whatnot. No, hey, it is what it is. But yo, it's been a long day. Let's go home, I can finish this video because I am tired, it is hot. It's another thing, Miami is humid as hell, like 98% of the time. And then of course, when it's not hot, it's hurricane season, so I'm just tired. Let me get home, it is, I've been out here for like four hours, holy shit. All right, let me get up. All right, guys, here I am back at home, downtown apartment. Now, I realize I made a lot of videos on this apartment already. I've done apartment tours. I did videos of me furnishing the place, putting LED lights. Look at all of this, all of this opportunity out here. It has not been an easy journey getting here. Hopefully, I did a good job showing you guys Miami, you know, the true side of Miami, not you know, the fake Lambos. Of course, all of that happens here, but, you know, I wanted to make sure you guys know that there is a real side of Miami where you can come to for us regular folk. You know, I get on social media and nothing really feels real anymore. Everything just feels so unauthentic. It just feels like everybody's trying so hard to make money and, you know, show off and show how much they got it, but I could care less. Like I said, I'm very unbothered. I don't care how people view me. I just do, I just do what makes me happy. And, you know, stuff like this makes me happy. You know, I look now, it's almost been about two years. And man, I just, Sometimes I wake up, it just doesn't feel real. Like, this doesn't feel like real life. Especially over there in Brickle. Holy shit, Brickle is, like, I just don't understand. I, you know, I definitely want to live over there, but at the same time, so much keep up with the Joneses type stuff over there. It's just, I don't even know if I want to, like, go through that headache. I want to say thank you for anybody that's been watching, you know, that's been keeping up with the channel. It's so crazy that some of you guys support and watch, and some of you guys have literally said I'm your favorite YouTuber, which is, fucking crazy to me like yo i used to dream of moments like this and like i'm here like i'm living it i'm feeling it and this is how it feels to like be on the come up staying in your own lane and not really giving a fuck about nothing else like i'm just i'm totally just completely invested in myself i don't really care about none of the nonsense i'm just i'm here to grow the channel and make a name for myself and you know be proud of the person that i've become cheers to two years here in miami downtown you know, hopefully you guys enjoy the city. Hopefully I did a great job exactly explaining the city. If you guys want to see a part two of me doing this, but at night, because I'm not gonna lie, Miami turns into a completely different city at nighttime. Like in the day, it's nice, it's cheerful, but at night, bro, it's demon time at night. I don't know what the fuck going on. I don't know what people be on at night, bro. People come out drunk, ready to go, lit. It's, it's ridiculous. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. You know, I think that'd be a fun video to do. Sort of like this, but you know, showing the raunchiness of Miami because, you know, I don't think I do that enough. So let me know in the comments. But, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, yo. You, my friend. You, my friend. Let me, let me, let me tell you something right quick. You enjoyed this so much. You made it this far in the video. 
And you probably are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, if you are subscribed, thank you very much. But if you are not subscribed, do you really want to leave this video and have the possibility of never seeing a video like mine again? I don't think you want to do that. So do me a favor, my friend. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video, do what you do best. But with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Got so much more coming out. Love you. Peace.